Okay, I had a quick question come in from someone about forwarding an email within Gmail. And I do my best to try and answer all the questions I get. Some of them I can answer via email. and Some of them require a video, hence why I'm recording this. So this is how I would forward an email in Gmail, but also hide the person's email address who sent the original email. So um, I've had this question a couple of times, actually, and it come through last night from someone again. And they said, how can I forward it and hide the address of the person who originally sent it to them? So... There's no sort of real way to do it in, there's no like automated setup in Gmail or anything. It's just a case of deleting the person's email. Um, it might seem quite obvious, but that's actually all there is to it. It's just a case of deleting it. So if I if I go to here and I, I've just sent this test to myself, by the way, this email is a test to myself. And let's say I wanted to forward it on to someone. If I click the forward in Gmail, you'll see instantly below it shows us who or where the email came from. Now from there, what we can do is just simply delete this piece of text here, or we could even delete you know, the entire sort of two section. So we could delete that, and then we could put in uh, like, hi, our message could go in there. Okay, and then up here you could put in the new email address of the person you wanted to send it to. Okay, so that's how you would hide it completely or hide their person or hide their email address within the content of the email um, probably hiding that completely it might not actually hide it completely I don't know for certain there is a way in Gmail if you go to the arrow here and it's called show original and from there you can actually pull up the original sort of header and footer of the email the real core code that's behind the email and that um, gives you a lot of content about the email, like the IP addresses and things where it was sent from. Um, and I don't know that if doing it this way that I'm talking about here will actually hide the email completely um, from when you go to show original. So there's always that option that someone may be able to find out, you know, um, the email or the person who originally sent it, but that's generally how I would do it. I would just go in and remove the email from there. I mean, if it's really like important stuff that you're sending then I suggest you don't forward it on you know and you know get permission to forward it on or maybe even just copy and paste and open up a new email so you know for in this case you could just um, I think control shift if you're on a PC on a Mac it'd probably be a Mac key shift and C nope sorry I can press the Mac key and compose and I think it'll open a new window here you go so I can open up a new window, then I would just actually generate a new email. So if it's really something that's important and you shouldn't be sending it, or you don't have permission, maybe copy and paste it first. Um, really, if you don't have permission, then don't send it. But that should answer that question. If you're trying to forward something, just delete it from the content of the email. So click on forward and just remove that. So I just highlight, delete on the delete key, and then you know, type in your message and click forward. If that has attachments and things on it, that's probably where you're sending emails from. Okay, so I hope that answers the question. A couple of people have asked it. It's a short video, I know, but that should help.